We're standing here with Erko. You and I had a case of 49 on this Saturday night. Uh, Erko, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? I'm so, glad, yeah. No complaints. Yeah. Okay. So you're fighting a cop, uh, Jostak. Yeah. Coming from a similar background as yourself, kind of like the fitness and bodybuilding world. and Exactly. He's, he's known as a social media star as well. Like, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of this fight overall? Do you think it's a I think it's just another fight for me, you know. It's my third fight right now and uh, I just prepare like the last one just before, only this time harder. Every every new fight is a harder preparation. But um, it's just another fight, you know. I don't I don't see that there's much difference than uh, last fights. Hmm. How are you adapting yourself to the MMA the MMA world, like you said, you're three fights in there, yeah. you're becoming more like obviously the first time you step in in cage, yeah, you're yeah, an MMA yeah. fighter. Yeah, yeah. Now you're three fights in, yeah. three training camps now. Yeah. Like, you, like, it, I see some difference, you know, some changes in uh, my head as well as my body. You know, I lost some size for this fight um, because I, I had really hard trainings and burned a lot of calories. You know, I had two times trainings a day and did a lot of wrestling this time and so I think that's the reason that I, that I, that I lost some size but uh, it doesn't mean that I lost the power you know I still have power and I'm uh, faster than my previous fights so yeah the body is adapting but the mind as well you know you think different uh, you're more um, stronger in your head you know you're you're more uh, focused as well so yeah some some changes yeah so you, you regularly go to expos as guests and yeah. like, uh, seeing fans and all and then obviously meeting other people from the bodybuilding world yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, what's their reception to you like putting mma or do they speak to you much about it yeah well to be honest i got uh, i got like loyal fans you know loyal people that follow me and they support me through my journey now as well uh, even if it's now MMA, you know, and before it was bodybuilding or fitness. Um, and, you know, I have to tell you that I still remain my, like, body shape during during all year long. So I always train and I'm always in shape, not so above like before, but people still like it, you know, and they see it as inspiration, motivation for themselves. And that, that's nice, you know, it's always nice to see it for the, from or hear it from the people. Yeah. So does anyone, like... Uh I go to famous people at expos that they come up to you and be like, hey, like, what's it like MMA training? And they're like, talking yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's true, you know. And then you then you see that these people really follow your journey and follow what you're doing, you know. So I've been to, let's say now, FIBO in Germany, and uh, I worked there three days, and people were coming to me and ask me when is my next fight and uh, cheering for my next fight. So it's it's kind of, it's really nice to hear that, you know. So the support is always nice from the people. Mm. You recently trained with uh, John Jones. Yeah. What was that like? How did that come about? That's a crazy experience, you know. I think for every fighter, MMA fighter or fighter in general, it's uh, something like a dream come true, you know. Like he's a Ronaldo football uh, of, of MMA, you know. And uh, yeah, it's, it was a crazy experience. We had a little bit, a uh, small workout, and then we went to eat some something after, have some drinks, and it's really nice. It's really a good guy, and uh, he shared some knowledge as well to me. And yeah, it's something you will never forget in your life. It's good memories. Yeah. What was like trying with him? Like, what was he? Yeah, he was uh, the the biggest, the most important thing that I won't forget. What he told me is. Uh, sometimes less is more, you know, and that's with training. He showed me like I was like, yeah, why don't you give everything with one shot? Or the, so he said sometimes less is more, and he used this technique, and it was crazy. It was crazy to see him how he moves as a fighter, you know. I think that's unique, and that's what makes him uh, separate to all the other fighters. He's a very smart guy. Yeah. So just moving on to your opponent this year, fighting uh, Jacob Jones. Like, um, what do you think of him as a fighter? He's, he's, he's shorter than you. Yeah. Um, he's not as big as the other fighters you have, you have faced. So like, how are you approaching this fight? Thing? Well, uh, I think I will experience what it's like to fight a smaller guy in uh, now uh, this Saturday. But I think it's a big advantage for me because my reach is much bigger. Uh, but I still take him a serious mm. opponent, you know. I don't underestimate him, and uh, I take him serious and um, trained really hard for this fight as well because he has some experience with MMA as well. But uh, he's like at the right, right uh, distance for a high kick or a, <laughs> a nice knee, you know. Well, we will see. You never know what's going to happen in MMA, and uh, I'm prepared for everything. Um, have you got a prediction? Uh, probably one or two rounds maximum and a nice KO. What's next for Erko? 
Ah, uh, holiday. holiday. Yeah, holiday. MMA wise, what's next? MMA wise, you know what it is like. If I if I go on holiday for one two weeks, after two weeks I'm already tired of it and I want to go back to the gym and train. And now, like let's say the last weeks of preparation, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I need a holiday. You know, so it's always like I always need to be busy. And this sport keeps me like you always can learn every day. You can learn, and uh, I like the vibe in this sport, and I like the mentality of the. Of the people around, it's a gladiator sport, you know. Mm. That's why. Mm. And uh, lastly, who else in KSW interests you? Obviously, uh, there's one name that's been thrown out, and that's Martin Ford, who's yet to be like yeah. announced his debut. Would that probably inter interest you at all? I I, I I told this also before. We know each other from uh, the bodybuilding world, and we saw each other also a couple of times. And you know, it's a uh, it's it's a big uh, um, attraction for uh, for MMA and for KSW as well. I don't think we will join um, in the cage, you know, at, from now on, maybe in the future, you never know. But I'm, I'm really uh, excited to see him fight, you know, I want to see what he's doing and uh, I hope to see him soon as well. Cheers everyone, thanks. Thank you.